Some of the areas hardest hit by those October floods are once again seeing the water rise tonight. Our team coverage continues. News 2's Raymond Owens in Georgetown County, where an Andrews man is tired of dealing with flood damage. It's been rough having everything that you've owned for 60 some years gone. Yeah, we lost everything. During the flooding weeks ago, Bobby Thornell's home, which is built on the Black River, nearly nine feet up on stilks, couldn't stay dry. A few weeks ago, the water was to the top of this house right here. It was, uh, we're touching that gutter right there. On Monday, you could see floodwaters again covering the road to his house, Red's Landing Road. Thornell tells me he's concerned about the possibility of even more water soon. Right now, he's at probably the 13 foot level, so we get another foot in here. Slowly bobbing in the water is what's left of Thornell's old dock. That's where my dock was at. Part of it, they've torn it down now to the house next door here. My walkway and to that dock was on top of that man's roof, up to 18 feet high. On a house that is now a pile of rubble, there are more former houses that are now piles of rubble than houses still standing on his street. When the county came in and checked it, they condemned everything in here except, this, except these two houses and one right down the river here. Three houses left out of about 15. There's even an actual old caboose once lived in by the retired caboose operator. It was also on stilks, but no more. How do you describe this to somebody who's never been out here to see all the damage? Raymond, I really don't know. It's, it's tough. It's just, it's just rough on everybody. Most of us in here have lost everything. He's definitely tired of the water, but not living on it. I've been here since 73, so we'll stick it out. I talked with Jackie Broach, the spokeswoman for Georgetown County. She tells me they're not expecting the flooding here to get much worse than it already is. From the Andrews area in Georgetown County, I'm Raymond Owens, News 2.